What's up everyone? Today we're going to be turning all of this wood into three different pieces of furniture. A coffee table, an end table, and the behind the couch table, whatever you would call that. And so we're going to get started on that. This video in particular is going to be the coffee table. To begin, you're just going to need all your tools here, your measuring tape, of course, your hearing protection. You're going to be making a lot of cuts, so I'd recommend something like this. Some glasses, and then of course a pencil, or in my case, if you keep losing them, your nearest writing device. And of course a saw. All my legs here are going to be made out of 2x4s, so let's get to cutting. All of the dimensions and cuts will be listed in the description below. I'm not going to bore you with listing that off in this video. But we are starting with the 2x4 legs, which you'll cut and sand. And then four more 2x4 cuts for part of the base ends. Then we're cutting the 2x2s, which are for the length of the base. And this will all make sense once we start assembling it. This here is the 1x12 base. We will double up on these, so we're cutting two, so it'll be like a 1x24, you could say. My miter saw only cuts 10 inch wide wood, so I overcome that by flipping my board over and cutting the rest. Then really the last cuts will be on these 2x6s and they will be for my tabletop. I will use five for my project and cut them to the length I want. Again, the dimensions are in the description below, along with some Amazon links to the tools I use. I'm ripping a very small piece off of my 2x6s just so my table will be extremely smooth without these rounded edges, but I'll dig into that later. Alright, we just got through cutting all of the pieces for the coffee table and sanding them down. So what's next is the assembly and painting and all that. I'm not sure what we'll do first, but we'll get to that tomorrow or in a few seconds in this video. Here I am marking the spots for my wooden dowels. And then I'm drilling the hole so I can insert them. So now what I'll be doing for the coffee table top is joining the boards together with a dowel system. So I'm gonna put half of a dowel into one board half into the other board, and that'll help support it along with the rest of the stand. It's gonna be resting on it. And then I'm gonna come back and reinforce it with some, this has two inch screws. I'm gonna do two and a half inch screws probably. And so that way it's just nice, tight, and secure. If you didn't know, the reason why I'm ripping the boards on the edges is because if you butt up two two by fours or two by sixes together without ripping the ends, you're gonna have what's called a crumb catcher. It's a little groove at the top of your table where it'll be really hard to clean you try to slide glasses across your table, they'll catch on some of those little dips and you'll have a big mess. So by ripping the boards, it's completely smooth, almost like butcher block. And then I'm gonna go over it with some wood glue. Y'all have no idea how good that feels after working on projects all day. I'm sanding and then planing the wood to smooth it out even more and then sanding it again. I'm cutting the ends off to make it completely flush here. Then I'm adding some wood filler which is stainable. And I'm literally going to apply this wood filler to every crack and crevice I can find on this tabletop. So 
Since I have a couple of toddlers running around the house, I want to round out the edges just a little bit and it also adds an extra finished look to it. Now it's time to sand it all. I'll start with 80 grit, then I'll go over to 120 grit, and then 220 grit. I've marked all of the Craig Jig spots ahead of drilling and this just helps me give a good idea of spacing. Now's the time for some assembly. So I'm starting with the two legs and fastening them onto the ends of a two by two. All of my connections are going to be with a 2 inch Craig screw and some wood glue. Then I'm going to put another 2x2 two two towards the bottom of the legs. I'm keeping these about 3.5 inches off the ground so that way my Roomba can get under the table here. Once I have two sets of these, I'll fasten on the 2x4 end pieces on the top, and this will be the bridge between the two sets. Once I connect this, my entire base is built. So now what I'll be doing is drilling out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes for my two and a half inch screws here that I will then countersink with this counter bit or whatever it's called. Thank you. 